the first thing you do when you're ripping down these posts, you gotta get this uh, cut measurement exactly so you can rip a two by four and a half, and it's gonna work out perfectly for you. So I'm using a pre-cut post just to double check the measurements. Then on the table saw, well, I, I, I scribe the line in here like a half inch from the end so I can measure, make sure my beat is totally straight on both ends. 13 and a quarter strong. That's too much, so I gotta move this whole thing. 13 and a quarter, just a hair strong. 13 and a quarter. Now we can rip it in half. We've got to do about five of them. Measure from the cutting line to the wall, 45 inches. That's what I need. And we just cut away. I only got 20 of these. We need we need about 150 for the house. Now we're down to 20. The wall stops them. For part three, I use a scrap one by or two by six. I set the angle about 22 and a half. And we'll see this one for 22 and a half like that. I put this right up to the uh, end of this, and that seems to work out pretty well. I clamp it in place. side I keep towards the back. wasn't thinking before when you cut the slant you just cut it where this is rounded because that way the rounded side is on the outside that's the natural end it's gonna be a lot cleaner looking than the side you just cut on the saw so you want to cut these angles on the rounding where the two by fours are rounded you get a much better finished product and what I did code requires these to be four inches four inches apart or less 
So we made spacers. And the way these spacers work, normally my wife holds it on top or my helper on top and I on the bottom, but in this case, like so. So. three or four of these I'll put a level on the side to make sure they're still level if not all adjusted one way or the other. Continue on until the side's done. 